Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be starting a new summer build, and it's going to be an electric golf cart. Now last summer we had an electric go kart, and it was really fun. And so now we're going to be starting this new project. And uh, this is a Club Car DS. And as you can see, cosmetically it needs a lot of work. Um, the paint is in very poor shape, along with the seats. Uh, and so that's going to be the main thing we're going to focus on. But uh, internally, it's very good. Um, it's got nearly new batteries, it drives well, it has new rims and new tires. So really, in this video, all we're going to be doing is stripping down the cart, uh, fixing the body errors, and then repainting uh, to make it look brand new. So the first thing we're going to be doing is removing the roof, the rear rails, and the front rails. And we would have to remove the rear rails anyway because we want to install rear seats. And for this specific model, you need to have to replace these anyway. So stripping the cart down, uh, it's done. Except for these two stubborn rails that don't seem to want to come out. Uh, the nuts are underneath the body on the inside, so uh, I got this one to be loose, but I'll probably just end up fixing it later. I'll probably take them up later. But uh, now I'm gonna focus on uh, fixing up the body. So as you can see here, there's several body infections. There's holes, little cracks, which just need to be filled up. Uh, and then also places that are a little rough, which need to be sanded down. That way, uh, price ready for paint. My own world of make believe. Kids screaming in the cradles, profanities. I see the world through ice covered in ink and bleach. Cross out the ones who heard my cries and watch me weep. I love everything. Fire spreading all around my room. My world's so bright, it's hard to breathe, but that's alright Hush Alright, so now the cart is fully stripped down We have the rear body panel off as well as the front body panel the front body panel was simply taken off by just taking out the bolts, two bolts there and the two bolts on the other side, as well as the 
front roof rails it loosened the front and then the rear um, the rear was harder because a lot of the bolts had rusted so that was definitely harder but now we got both off and we're going to be power sanding both of them and then after that they should both be ready for paint some days I feel skinnier than all the other days Sometimes I can't tell if my body belongs to me I love everything Fire spreading all around my room right, So the body is all sanded down now, very well And we're gonna get started with paint So uh, these are the paints we're using uh, So for the body we're gonna be using this Rustoleum uh, glass protective enamel. It looks a lot like um, Nardo gray, but it's technically smoke gray. But it's I think it's impossible to tell the difference, honestly. Uh, we're doing we're using this black plastic dip for the roof and accents on the rims that way we can take it off if we really need to. And then we have a clear coat here which we'll go on top of the gray paint just to give it uh, a lot of shine. Redemption, honesty is a one-way gate to hell I want to taste consumption Eat faster to waste oxygen Hear the children sing aloud It's music till the wick burns out So these are the final painted panels here. We have the rear panel here, which is painted in Nardo gray, as well as the front, which is also painted the same color. I think they both turned out really good. They both match each other pretty well. And then we have the rims here. These are painted in shiny black, and we had to tape uh, in between the spokes. And it was really tedious to, to tape it, but I think it turned out well, and it gives the spokes more definition. And then it also con the black contrasts really well with the gray. So that turned out really well. And then we also painted the roof black. So we're kind of going for a black and gray look here. And before the roof was tan and black, and it was really a really bad paint job. So we just resprayed the whole thing, and I think it turned out pretty good. And then since we will also be installing a rear seat kit, which comes with black bars, we have to paint the we had to paint the front bars black as well to make it match. And then there are rear fenders. Then we painted the bumpers black and then the, the seat rails black as well. So that was all the paint that we had to do. It's kind of a lot. It took a while, but I think overall it turned out pretty good. And uh, in the next video, we're going to be uh, installing everything back together, which should be a while since you know it's it's easier to take stuff off and put stuff back on. And also, what should make it harder is we had a lot of bolts that rusted, and we had to cut some of them, so we have to get new bolts as well. But hopefully, it shouldn't be that hard. In the next video, we're also going to be installing. We have. Uh, we have a radio here, and then we have these new LED lights, so some wiring needs to be done as well as just installing these, which will look pretty good, as well as these LED tail lights, which are a lot better than the old ones. And then we also have this cool faux carbon steering wheel. I think it looks pretty cool. And so that's what we have planned for this thing. 
So stay tuned for that video, it should be really fun. Definitely a lot more fun than painting. I kind of got sick of painting here, but I think it turned out pretty good. So uh, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. Uh, if you have any questions, just leave, leave them in the comments and I'll try to answer them. Um, yeah, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for the next video.